All right, Genesis 15. And Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jubasite, and the Amorite, and the Gergashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, or the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zermarite, and the Hamathite. Hamathite. So, we're focusing on the Sinite or the Sinite. The Sinites are a group of people mentioned in the Bible as descendants of Canaan. Can Canaan. They are described as inhabitants of Sin or Sin, which is located near Arca. So if we go back one, we see right there the Archite. So their order might be relevant, might not. All right, creation wiki, very interesting type of wiki. All right, Sinim, Sinites or Sinim or Sinim or whatever are the descendants of the Sinai. Got that? Name means thorn, name means clay. The eighth son of Canaan. If you go back to that Genesis and start counting the names, it will be the eighth. Now, it says, this isn't really important to us. I'm going to skip this. Possible destination. The Sinites are connected with Sinim or Sinim which may be applied to both regions, both east and south of the Holy Land. Isn't that interesting? We read that verse in Jeremiah, when the, Judah, uh, when the princes of Judah return, the children of Benjamin will come from the south, and I think it's east or west. It's east or west. It wasn't north. I don't think it was north. In any event, the name is connected with Sinai or Sinai, sometimes spelt thin I or thin I. Now, if you change this T to a C and you drop the I, just like in Shinar, right? You drop the last and do and change the front, you got China I. China I. So it's the Chinese. Now, the name connected with sin i or sin pelisium in egypt so that tells you right there pelisium was a city or a section or 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 territory in egypt or cyrene which is aswan which is in ezekiel 29 and 10 30 and 6 also of interest in the prophecy of Isaiah, which refers to exiles who shall come from afar, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinim. So that's all we need. We could go a little bit further. Here, Sinim in its context is speaking of both the land, speaking a land both south and east or southeast of Palestine. Now you see that pale, like in bucket or skin, and then stein, as in what, Bernstein or Steen or Frankenstein or Frank, you, you get what this is going. Now, we take all this, Ezekiel 29 and 10. So let's go. Thus saith the Lord God, or Ishi Eloha, Eloha, behold, I will bring a sword upon thee and cut off man and beast out of thee, and the land of Egypt shall be desolate and waste, and they shall know that I am the Ishi, because he hath said, The river is mine, and I made it. Behold, therefore I am against thee and against thy rivers, and I will make 
the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate from the Tower of Cyrene even to the border of Ethiopia. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the truth. I've explained many times you have tourist attractions. They are not the original location. A lot of people today have not read and studied the Bible all the way through, including myself. But the amount that I have read is very clear that all the children of Shem were kicked off their land. Somebody else sits in their stead, and the children of Shem are spread around the world. Now, Let's just watch. Now, if you type in Tower of Cyrene, this is what they want you to believe. It's in Africa, this new concrete stuff. Right? That's what they want you to believe. This is what they say. Ooh, it's a prophetic wonder now this is why i said to you it's called the african slave trade africa isn't our friend they're one of the groups that did this to us the free negroes are the african once they do what they rapture us on their land after we've been divided there's an intermixed child that's born from that situation when they teach him to rule and send him as the slave master to america with his boat full of slaves all his documents say he's a free negro and we be his negro slaves so he gonna look like us but he also gonna look like his dad. So he gonna look a little bit different from us. But see, that's the whole point of all this happening in America. It's easy for the different nations of slave masters to hide amongst their servants. And that is why magician is king in a theatrical nation. Magician is God in a theatrical world. And I do mean minor God. So, as we go forward, so why don't we go over and type in China, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to images, and we'll open the images. And in the first, they say Africa, and the second, they say Africa, and in the third, it says Stone Towers of Southwest China. So, this is very interesting. Um, the, have you, the viewer, have you ever heard of any of this? So, let me click on this. And this is what we get. Okay. These are the towers of Cyrene. And you can clearly see it's not one, it's more than one, it's many. And you see the houses, just like, again, when you say, Bhutan. Look at how they build the houses on the cliff. Now, if you look, because they're on a cliff. We want to see pyramid. I don't think it says that in the Bible anywhere.
this stuff is you see this tower leaning everything else right this one's leaning so the, the you, you africa uh 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 myth this is what you want to believe go ahead now remember all these youtubers all the small youtubers been pushed off it's just corporation corporate youtubers now they got their stuff set up as an llc they're looking for ways to avoid taxes because they're splurging So it's your choice, man. You can go with the truth or you can go with the tourist attraction. This new, modern, beautiful structure or the choice is yours. It's easy for them not to pluralize the tower, but even when you look at the tourist attraction, they made more than one tower because they knew it should be pluralized. For a fabrication, this is beautiful. But it's still alive. These are the ancient towers that you can physically walk into to defend all this shit. Which these towers are clearly obelisks. So in the Bible, when Judah is known, excuse me, because this book has been taken out of the Bible. So in the book of Jashir, when uh, uh, the forefather, uh, the forefathers are fighting in this war against the Canaanites, when um, Judah is able to leap over a tower Clearly, this is what they're talking about. And again, leaping from down here over the tower seems just wild. And if it happened that way, it happened that way. But just as wild coming down the hill and leaping over one of these towers would be truly just as insane. But you can see you, it's, it's more fathomable whatever i know that guys out there that corrects my words i appreciate that because i'm i'm very ignorant as the negro but i'm not that ignorant that i can't find what Pelisium, a city of egypt so when bhutan is paro and paro is another word for Pharaoh. It's the real word for Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh's princes are of uh, Zor. And Zor today is Islamabad. Because they're still on the, the, the river. It's the Zior. So, this is, uh, one second. All right, let me clean that up a little bit. It's the princes of Zorn. Zorn. And Nof which is Moph, which is Memphis. And so, again, if people argue M Memphis is in America, well, it's been moved to America. We'll get to that at the end. So Islamabad, old name of the river, Zone River, has been changed to Zorn. Z Zorn is what? Is a Pun Punjab of Pakistan. And then we go back, we go back, Islam is bad. Now, again, we already know it's in Pakistan, right? So we say, 
What is where is Islamabad? It's the city of Pakistan. See, this is why people turn the video off. Because once you start telling the truth, they don't want to see it. They got too much invested in lies. All they didn't trick the right their pride they done tricked all these melanated people into thinking um i'm egyptian i'm a hamite they didn't trick all these people in believing that they from africa so again and so thus saith the issue they are all they also that uphold egypt shall fall the pride of her power shall come down from the tower or pluralize it of cyrene Shall they fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord God, the Ishi Eloah. Now, when we look at Isaiah 49, it says in the New International Version, they, they come from north, the west, and from the region of Aswan. And now when you look at uh, the King James Version, it's going to say that... Uh, Twelve that they come from sin m instead of saying aswan see the new see they say aswan here they say what sin m here I'm telling you the land of the sinai now the west and the north are two different peoples and sin m is a third group so it writes out who did this to us. So here's Aswan. Aswan, uh, uh, the Aswan uh, River, the bank of the Nile. So they tell you Aswan is where? Oh, in Africa. So let's say we know stuff is, is around. The Himalaya Mountains. So let's put the simplest thing that we can put Asia, Aswan, a city on Egypt, the Nile River. Okay? So if we say, oh, I don't have the, 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 the E sword open. So type that in. Huh. So let's see what blue letter says or so nobody tells me what the strong screen accordance is then. Nobody tell so this is still gonna be the this is Aswan is what they call Elephantine, huh? An island on the Nile. Oh no, no, no. So these are near each other. Why did that come up? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, tell you right there. The land of Sinem. Where did it say that at? Turns the land of Sinem into the region of Aswan. So again, we know where that is. Hold on one second. Absolutely not. We're not looking for any place called Aswan. We're looking for Ashan. Ashan. And that is the whole language barrier between what we would say is the what the uh, missionaries. So let's put China. We shouldn't put China. We should put uh, another one. But this will do. Let's start there. And China is what they want me to type in. Anshan is a city in the Liang Le, province of China, known for being a major steel producer. And why did emojis pop up? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're mad. They're mad. They're infecting my shit. They're mad. Uh, I, this, this whole computer froze black screen. If I had to restart the whole computer for this video. I didn't even want to sit there and complain and cry and all that shit in the camera. But you just saw like emojis pop up for absolutely no reason. Can you even 
can't get emojis for these. I don't, think, I don't, I don't know what happened. Did that one change or something? But now we have the answer. In your Bible, that says as one, it should say and shan. And you can tell from what the Strong's Concordance says. All right. They don't have the N. The second N. A N. <laughs> okay, so. And then we said we had China Ash Ashan. All right. And that gives us the same answer. Now we know exactly where it, this is. All right, so I paused it and I wasn't really satisfied. I was like, well, what if, what if we just leave this first N out and look for as or a shan, right? Or even shan, I'm gonna try that next. Because I wanted to see if I can find something closer to the Himalaya, right? Because when we say uh, Leoing province, they're showing it is not, I, I mean, you know, within, the, you know, Bhutan right there, India right there, the princes of zone, Islamabad is over here. So to sit there and say, you know, this is, again, man, that, that, that put all this area in, in, as Egypt. Now, where was the cities and capitals? Well, you have to look up per city. If we look at Aswan, it's right here, Bhutan. Now, again, the border of China right there, prior to Bhutan's creation, again, did it extend the whole of the river? Then it would have came all the way out there, just like, you know, Bhutan would have been in China's territory. So, uh, who's to say Nepal wouldn't have been either? So that's that's a minor thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go back. I said, let me change this. Let me just look and see if something closer in uh in the words and the location. So then it start talking about nobility, the dynasties and stuff, just by looking at Ash Han. And then they won't stop with no, it's An Shan, Negro. Listen, An Shan. I'm, I'm like, okay, all right. I'll go with you. All right, so now when I just scroll down, here you go. The royal and noble ranks of the queen or queen and king dynasty, right? Ming, it's just word plays, right? So I'm starting to see, you know, uh, there is no change in that. So let's take A out of it. Let's just, get, let's just go with Shan. Right. If I go with Shan, you see it go to Shanghai real fast. Then you go China Shang Dynasty and then Shandong. So you see like a whole lot's about to change right here. So then you get a whole Shan people. You know, so again, the Thai ethic. See, this started to make sense, but they in the southeast. Minority of Burma. See, that makes sense because Right? Who is the people that took down uh, Judea in Thailand? It's the Burmese and the Thai people come and live in place. I was ready to settle on Anshan. But removing A, disconnect again. All you have to do to understand what I'm talking about if you've never seen it before. You type in Siam is Judea with two words Siam and Judea, and then up comes Judea was the name of Ayat Heya, that is the most high's name, right there. All right, the most high's name is H1961. If we accept the, the laws of Moses, then we must accept the name given to Moses. H1961, right here you see Heya. 
and I'm just going to type in Hebrew. And then Heya. So the city of the, this, remember, you read in the Bible and it says the city with the most high's name on it. We've discovered this already. Ayat Heya. Now, if you, re, if you read the, the name backwards, you get Yah. We're going from a right to left language transcribed into Chinese, uh, right? One character language to another, and then translated into what? Latin or Greek by missionaries, further down the line, translated to English, presumably by Italians, because we get the letter J. Ta-da! So, Judea, and you learned about what more about the Dutch East, the Dutch the other day. So the Dutch East East India Company. So, right, the VOC, right? That's their trading post. You still see this on bottles and pro products today. In, in 1608, so when they tell you Judeo in BC, they are lying. When they tell you that the Romans did this in, in this year, they are lying. If you say all of West Europe is Rome at this point, because what was Rome's goal? To take all of Europe under one. What do you get from that? You get the United Kingdom. They made their United Kingdom and then they were exiled from them because of what? The, 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 the immigration of the Germanic tribes that are the what? The Goths, this, the Goths, that, the Vandals, the Allens. But they never want to bring up in history. Because that's how they, this is why they're not indigenous to there. They're indigenous to the islands of the sea, which we would call Indonesia and stuff like that. Again, we learn that stuff from uh, studying and especially from wiki creation. And when it tells us about the son of Japheth named Elisha. Now, and and Joe Brown brought, brought that to the table when Joe was studying with us. He's still studying with, with, with you know, what I mean, when he was doing the recordings with us. So, for me, this makes more sense the China Shan because when we look at the map, Okay. I guess the data jump is a problem. When we look at the map, we're, we're then talking about these areas right here with the darker shade. All right. So here's Thailand right down here off screen. Yeah, there you go. You can see it now. There's Thailand. There's Myanmar where the Burmese would be. Here's Bhutan where we're finding this information about Egypt and stuff like that, right? Here's Nepal, which is what? The Himalayan mountains are up in here. Somewhere in there. You freeze again? Got a lot of freezing going on. Must be cold. Computer, you cold? So the Leon province, we're not gonna deal with that one. That's unnecessary. All right, to keep this one short, I'll just let you know, you can type this in Himalaya Towers and then it will come up right here. These are what we're looking at. you right, Sejuan, right? So, ah, goes down a little bit. Uh, the stone star shaped towers. All right, that's why uh, they found mostly in calm. Or take the K off, what do you got? Ham. 
So, and a uh, region of Tibet, as well as the area inhabited by, by the modern Queen, historically inhabited by the Tanglets. So, we'll go into that a different day. Let's see, we've talked about the Instagram guy, the guy on Instagram that wants to alter the information. All right, so here, uh, where are we at? Ezekiel uh 29 and we're going back here and i want you to see this the river is mine i have made it right so then we go and say okay what is what river are we talking about so they tell you it's the uh it's the sindhu right sin somewhere in here Gotta love it. But it doesn't matter. We just go and type in, tell us what the Sindhu River is. And then again, at this point, you realize Hindu, if you change the S to an H, and you get Hindu, and the Hindu River is the Indus River. So, you know. It then becomes kind of a word game. And then we should then be looking at, and we will another day, we should be looking at Blasian. And then we should be looking at the, these terms. Uh, Afro-Asiatic. Um, so, so it told you right there, is the, the, let's go this way. And we're going to go down. Afro-Asiatic language is known as the Hamitic or, I can't see that word, or semito hamitic So again, if you have Egypt and they're Hamites, and you have Israelites who are, what, Babylonians who, have, who are not part of Babylon anymore, and they're, okay, so that's how you get the black and the Asian mixture. And that's how you get Blasians. And when they say, do not mix with the kids, blah, 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 that's what he's saying. So, I will probably do the rest of this another day. Again, they, they froze my face. Uh, it has no reason to just do that for long periods of time. Uh, so, again, Catman do. This is what it's all about. Uh, Philistines, one of the groups of the Philistines was the Micmac, or the Micmash. Now again, you have a language translation barrier, okay? So, the Micmash, they're brought up, the land is brought up, Samuel, 1 Samuel 13, and then... Again, black screen. You keep seeing these black and white screens come up. That is your government. And they know they're being called out in, during a recording and it's going to broadcast. This is what they're paid to do. To interfere. Again, just scan the computer. You're asking Microsoft, who's trying to do what to the world? Hey, is there any viruses? Of course not, silly Negro. So the Micmac are indigenous. No, they're not. They're aboriginal. They're not the original. They're aboriginal. They went, they came back. Like a yo-yo. All right, again, uh, so at this point, you know, um, I, 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 if, you, if you have the ability to donate, it would really help. We're uh, school books, school supplies, all that stuff for homeschooling. Ah, uh, crucial time for us, you know, uh, my, my PayPal is available, Cash App is not, I have broke my camera on my phone, and uh, until I can, you know, dry begging, until I can afford a new phone, uh, you know, uh, I can only accept Cash App right now, uh, I'm sorry, PayPal. I can only accept PayPal right now. 
because uh, my identification with the state has expired. So I got a uh, passport, but I just, I can't upload it because the, the camera on the back of the phone. Uh, so if you're able to help out, we really appreciate it. Um, at this point, you should understand they don't want this information out. You're allowed to see it. It's not allowed to go major broadcast. I can tell you assumptions why. But I would take it as a blessing that you're allowed to see it for as long as, as you can before they take everything down. And most high bless you with this knowledge. May you walk in righteousness and may your children be taught righteousness so they be chose, chosen chosen to rebuild Yeru Shalayim. Hey, hey.